Hey guys, uh, what I want to show you today is something that's pretty common uh, both at home and then also a few of the rental properties that I have and that is uh, how to repair a towel rack or a toilet paper holder or a hand towel holder. Super common for these to loosen up over time uh, and they come with a few different types of uh, anchoring mechanisms that would anchor into the drywall. Your first preference always uh, when securing, uh, let's say, a towel rack would be to try to find a stud, to put the wood screw, threaded wood screw, into an actual 2x4, 2x6 uh, stud, and that's going to give you a really secure anchor uh, on the one side. Now, with that said, it's going to be really hard to line that up on the other side, uh, since most studs would be like 16 inches apart. Uh, and the towel racks are not going to line up to that. So inevitably, you're going to need to use uh, some type of anchoring uh, mechanism into the drywall. So there's a few different types. There's actually quite a few different types and it can be a little bit confusing in terms of which ones to use. Um, the ones that usually come in the package are just a simple, simple like plastic expansion anchor. Uh, plastic expansion anchors uh, are okay. Um, those are, are what you're going to find on most uh, just uh, installed toilet paper holders or towel racks. Uh, once the screw, once you drill a pilot hole into the drywall, uh, then you then you tap in the plastic uh, anchor, expansion anchor, and then and then you tighten the uh, usually Phillips head screw into that anchor and expands and it presses into that pilot hole and then it's supposed to hold in place. Very, very common for those to loosen up. And to be honest with you, uh, a, lot of, a lot of times that I've tried to do it and, and others that I've seen, uh, that will actually be loose by the time you're just done with the project because you had uh, loosened it up just through the tightening process of that screw. Um, so usually stepping up from there, there's, there's, and these seem to be newer and more popular nowadays, are the threaded anchors. Uh, these threaded anchors are actually self-tapping. You technically don't even need to do a pilot hole. But often what people will do is maybe an expansion anchor loosened up and the threaded anchor is quite a bit uh, larger in diameter. So you could use that, that uh, hole that was loose for the expansion anchor and you could thread in uh, one of these threaded anchors. Again, I've seen some issues with it. They're plastic, right? So uh, you're going to have some issues if, if you're uh, tightening that into the wall, it gets a little tight, you might uh, strip it or, or, or might strip the plastic. Um, and then they usually when they seat into the wall, you usually have a gap. So it's going to be really hard for you to get um, the bracket for the toilet paper holder or the, the towel rack flush with the surface. So you're always going to kind of have this little gap. Um, and then there's just a whole bunch of other ones, uh, but very common um, uh, anchoring mechanisms would be the toggle bolt. Uh, and these, are, these have been around for a long time uh, and they can hold a lot of weight. Uh, they really give you a good secure uh, holding point uh, to the drywall uh, because of their design. There are some newer ones. There's some snap toggles, uh, which also can give you a very secure uh, hold to the drywall. But again, the snap toggle, uh, depending on how you install it, might, might give you a little bit uh, of a gap uh, as when, when it actually seats against the drywall uh, and won't quite be as flush as what you'd get with a normal toggle bolt. Um, so what we have right here is we, we have a toilet paper uh, holder that has become loose. We had uh, expansion, uh, normal expansion plastic um, uh, anchors and then we stepped up to threaded. Now the threaded are completely uh, stripped out and um, I'm going to throw some toggle bolts in there and that should hold it uh, where I won't have to address this again. And, and from my standpoint, this saves me a lot of time in the long term uh, because I won't have to come back to this rental property uh, between tenants and address these issues. So for me, it saves a lot of time, but uh, for you guys that might be at home, uh, very easy for a child or somebody to bump into one of these racks and really just a simple bump uh, could, could break them loose from the drywall and then you gotta uh, address that problem. So let's dive in here and, uh, and uh, get after it. All right, so we'll start on the bottom side here of the toilet paper holder and we're gonna loosen up the two set screws. Uh, you have one on each side. Uh, depending on the brand, you might have need a flathead screwdriver 
uh, in this case, the one I'm dealing with, we need an Allen wrench, so a small Allen wrench. Uh, do be careful when you loosen these up. If you don't take your time and you don't have the wrench seated correctly, you might strip out the set screw. So once you get that set screw off, you go ahead and take the holder off and you'll see the bracket, the actual bracket uh, that we secure to the drywall underneath the holder. And we'll go after that uh, second side there on the left side and, and a little bit easier to take this one off. This is the loose side. This is the, really the side that we need to repair. Um, you can see the right side's pretty secure and that left side's a little, um, little wobbly, little loose. So uh, actually in this case, you just pull it right out and you'll see you know, two different types. So we got the, the self-tapping screw there and then we also have uh, just a hollow wall drywall anchor. Uh, you can see with the screw out. Now we'll take that bracket and we'll go ahead and remove the old hollow wall anchor uh, by unscrewing the, the Phillips head screw here. And then once we get that one off, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hollow wall anchor so we can reuse that bracket. Once we get the old hardware off, we will take the toggle bolt. Uh, you're gonna remove the spring side and then pass the bolt through the bracket and then go ahead and put the spring side back on so you get ready to put the toggle bolts within the wall. So compress the springs here on the toggle bolts and then we're gonna push them right through the holes that were left by the old hardware. Depending on your situation, you might have to drill a 3 8 inch size hole uh, with this size toggle bolt. And, the, and specifically, these toggle bolts are number 6 uh, dash 32, uh, so that's a 32 thread count uh, by 2 inches. So once the springs expand on the other side of the drywall, I pull the bracket uh, to give a little uh, pressure against uh, the, the bracket so the bolts can tighten up while I screw them with this compact nut driver. So we'll continue to to tighten these up until you get a, a, a secure fit against the drywall and you can kind of move back and forth uh, so you don't just do one side and then leave the other really loose. So you'll feel there once it starts tightening up and, and really makes a nice hold. So once we have the bracket on the left hand side, because I'm here, I'm just going to do the right hand side anyways. So this was tight, but I'm going to remove the old hardware. Again, similar, it has a threaded self-tapping uh, anchor on the top and then just just one of those normal kind of the run-of-the-mill uh, expansion anchors on the bottom so I'll use a flathead screwdriver and kind of loosen this up uh, with my pliers and then remove that from the bottom once that hardware is removed uh, th these holes are not the right size so we're going to need to take a 3 8 uh, drill bit and we'll go ahead and make those the correct size so we can get the toggle bolts in uh, with the with the new hardware. So I'll drill out the top and then just go ahead and drill out the bottom. So now these are both nice 3-8 uh, holes for us to work with. Taking a similar uh, approach, we'll, we got the hardware on the bracket, get those springs on, uh, the bolts, and then we'll uh, compress those springs down and then we'll try to fit them into the holes here uh, and then push them past. Remember, you. Uh, make sure you have everything correct before you push them past or you're going to need to get new springs because they will, uh, they're, they're only a one-time use. So similar to the other side, we'll go ahead and tighten this up by applying some pressure, pulling out on those toggle bolts. Uh, so we have some pressure on the bolts and they can start to thread into the springs. And then we'll tighten them kind of back and forth, uh, top to bottom. Uh, as we work our way closer to the drywall to get a nice secure fit uh, on this right side bracket. So the nice thing is once we're done with this, we're going to have four toggle bolts in this, this uh, toilet paper holder and really should give you just about as good of a, uh, a secure hold as you can possibly get. And it's really not that much time commitment. So we'll, we'll tighten this up here and, and make sure everything uh, is, is, is fit to the drywall. All right, coming to the home stretch, we're going to take that right hand side of the toilet paper holder. And again, we'll want to finish strong here. So take your time, make sure the Allen key is seated into, into the, the Allen bolt and, 
and make sure you get a nice tight fit uh, without stripping out the Allen bolt. So you'll go ahead and secure this up. Just a, another a half turn here. And we'll make sure the left and right hand side are good. And then we'll go ahead and insert that middle piece there. That's it. Thanks guys for stopping by, really appreciate it. And if you need a reference as always to the tools used today, go ahead and look down below the video in the description and I'll, I'll list everything out for you. Hopefully you got a little bit out of this video and it helps you with your everyday home repairs. Take care.